Good afternoon, everyone, again. <laughs> so let me introduce myself. My name is Josh. I am from MT, and I'm grade 9. Today, I'll be presenting my GP research project, the, the title being Deforestation and How It Can Affect Riau, the province of Indonesia. Next, please. So first, I'll be discussing about the contents of the, the table contents, the context. So first, I'll be talking about the background of research, why I picked Riau, and why is it a problem. Second is the causes. What is the motivation behind people doing deforestation in Riau? Third is the consequences. What is the result of those actions? And fourth, the cause of action, what we can do to help our fellow Indonesians in Riau. And fifth, last but not least, the conclusions, what I personally gained from this experience. Next, please. Okay. So first, I'll be talking about the de de definition and the background of research. So from this slide, we can see that the definition of deforestation is it is the removal of forests and the inhabitants of those forests for human benefit or for commercial purposes. Now, you might be asking why I picked Riau. Well, it's because the people of Riau has already experienced the effects of deforestation, one of those Examples are the 2023 August to November fire hazes. It has spread to neighboring countries too, like the Singaporean or the, or the Malaysian government. And it has caused some tensions between the two governments, our governments and the international one. Next, please. Now I'll be switching to the causes. What is the motivation be behind deforestation in Riau and other places? Logging, so what, from what I've researched, 80% of logging is illegal. That is a lot of illegal activity taking place in Indonesia. Why? Because people want to make a living or make a profit out of that. Next. And the second is plantations. Like you can see here, oil, palm, and palm paper accounts for 84% of deforestation in Indonesia. That's a lot. Why? Because just the same as before, people want to make a living or want to make a profit out of that. Now we'll go on to the consequences, the result of those actions. First, we can see the economic loss, but we know last year that there was a prolonged dry season. There was also a El Nino, and there has been many deforestation in Riau. All of those combined has made many major forest fires. This alone has cost the Indonesian government 5.2 billion USD. And the second is strain relations, just like what I said before. The hazes caused by the fires have create some tension between the governments in Indonesia and the governments in Malaysia and Singapore because of the negative impact to the air quality. Next, please. And last but not least, the dangers to local biodiversity and local communities. We can see from this graph that between the 1st of February 2021 until 24th February this year, Riau has experienced 3,404 fire loads. I mean, can you imagine every day waking up to one fire alert, two fire alert, ten fire alerts? Isn't that going to negatively impact the well-being of the communities there? And we can also see the, from 2001 and 2022, Riau has lost equivalent to 52% of its forests. That is definitely a lot of forests being cut down and has definitely negatively impacted the, the local biodiversity there. Next, please. And now, what we can do to help, what, what, what can we do to help to our fellow Indonesians in Riau? Next. So from what I've researched, the most two effective ways is first by government pro-forestry. Laws such as the law number 41 of 1999 February and the presidential decree of the Ministry of Environment, laws such as those have caused Indonesia to have one of its annual lowest deforestation rates in over 20 years. Isn't that amazing? And then the second is cooperations that aim to help forests. Around 80% of deforestation is led by agricultural expansion, which is also owned by privately owned companies. If those privately owned companies are able to switch from a more helpful policy that will help forests, they will definitely alleviate or help the help reduce the deforestation in Riau. Next, please. And last but not least, conclusions, what I've personally learned. So we can, we can, maybe it's a bit too blurry, but I'll just read it out. Psalms 24, verse 1. The earth, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. We can know that everything on this earth is a gift from God, and we as humans are trusted by God to take care of those things God has 
gifted us. So why don't we be more responsible, be more careful with the things around us? For example, deforestation and the negative impact of that. That's why what I've learned is that we should try to be more responsible to the things God has gifted us and we should be more grateful. So let us start doing God's will by protecting his fellow creations. Next, please. Thank you for listening. I'm grateful that everyone here is able to be present here and listen to my presentation. God bless you.